What's going on, you guys? How you guys doing? Old Dog, Anti Imperial to Chill. One name, three personalities. Old Dog, Anti Imperial to Chill. So, um, somebody reached out to me, you guys, through my DM. And uh, this is Diversity Outspoken, by the way. We call this Diversity Outspoken because we speak about a diverse range of topics, meaning that we speak about anything and everything. And we are outspoken about those topics, right? So, somebody reached out to me through my DM, you guys. And they were saying that um, a guy reached out to me. He was saying that. His his um the girl that he's with or the woman that he's with, she tells her best friend everything, and she's always with a group of girls, and, and she tells her best friend everything. Whatever they talk, whenever they talk about things, she's always talking about what her best friend said. Guys, you have to be really careful about females that be females that are around all girls all the time. They tell them everything, and females that say like, "Oh, I tell my best friend everything." You gotta be careful about girl females. Like if you're if you're female, your wife, your girlfriend, or whatever is the one that like sits in bed and just gossips about like like her females call her every night and she's always on the phone with her females and they're always talking about like her females relationships. Like imagine like you you have your wife right or your girlfriend and y'all live together and while you're in bed at nighttime and you guys are winding down and you're watching TV and things like that, you see her and she'll be like on the phone with her friends. And then she'll be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, when she hangs up with her friends, she'll turn to you and be like, hey, babe, it's crazy. Like, Fred, Fred and Samantha, they're going through some crazy stuff. Da, 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 da. And she starts telling you the whole story. You can guarantee that whatever is happening with you, she's telling her best friend and her best friend is telling her man. So, for example, let's say, like, you're with your wife, right? And let's say, like, you, you lost your job. You can guarantee that your woman is telling her best friend, oh, yeah, this nigga lost his job, da 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 he ain't making no money right now. And her best friend is telling all the other friends and all the other friends are telling all the other husbands that you lost your job and you ain't making no money. So the next time y'all go to like one of those like dinner parties or something like that, when y'all go to a dinner party or where all the couples are around each other, everybody's going to know and look at you like a loser, basically. So, men, you got to be real careful being in a relationship with women who only hang around a bunch of gossiping women because they're going to know every single Thing about your relationship and everybody and all their husbands and boyfriends and everybody else going to know every single thing about your relationship also so if you got the type of wife that comes in the room at night time and it's like oh babe guess what guess what like you know Lauren and her and her boyfriend had a threesome it didn't even go right and this happened and this happened and this happened if your woman's doing that, just know. You don't got to do nothing about it. It just is what it is. But just know, all of your business, everybody knows your business. Just know that. If your woman is a gossiping type with her friends, and her friends are gossipers also, everybody knows your business. The same way you know their business. So be careful with females saying like, oh, I tell my best friend everything. They going to know everything about you. They gonna know if you fart in your sleep. They gonna know if, if your if your um if your if your D I C K can't get hard. If you got erectile dysfunction or something like that, you got E D. They gonna know if you if you um if you not good in bed. They gonna know if all that type of stuff. They gonna know everything, and all their husbands and boyfriends gonna know everything because the same way that your wife or your girlfriend pillow talks with you is the same way all her friends pillow talk. With all their men. Another thing to keep in mind. If you have a female. And she's like I tell my best friend everything. You got to be careful because. She may not be able to make decisions about your relationship on her own. When it comes to making decisions about your relationship with her. She's going to run off and talk to her best friends about it. And whatever her best friends say is what she's going to decide to do. 
whatever her best friends say is what she's going to feel. So if you and her, if you and your wife or your girlfriend are trying to make a decision, she's going to run off to, if she tells her best friends everything, she's going to run off and tell her best friend. And if her best friend is like, oh, that's a good thing. Oh, I like that. I like that. Then she's going to come back to you and be like, yeah, baby, that's going to be fun. We should do that. But if her best friend says, ew, why he want you to do that? That's stupid. I'll never do something like that. Then your woman or your girlfriend's going to run back to you and be like, I ain't doing that. That's stupid. Why are we going to do something like that? You need to have a woman, a wife or a girlfriend. You need to have somebody who can think for themselves. You don't want somebody who's going to, who's a gossiper and somebody who tells their best friends everything. Because their best friends are going to be making the decisions in your relationship. Because their best friends are going to influence them into whatever, however they want to influence them by. And that's how your relationship is going to go. And the last thing I would say, I'm not going to go too deep into this last thing, but the last thing that I would say is this. Your best, fr your best friend should be your man or your woman. Your best friend should be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Your best friend should be your husband or your wife. Because if you guys can maturely, you got to be mature to be able to handle any type of conversation. But that should be your best friend, should be your husband or your wife. If you're at the office at work and you're kind of starting to become attracted with somebody else, at, at work, you should be able to go home and tell your husband or wife, hey, babe, like, I don't know what's going on, but, like, there's this guy or there's this girl at work, and, like, I don't know, they just, they keep flirting with me, and, like, like I'm not going to lie, like, they're kind of attractive. Like, I don't know, I'm, it's something about them, like, I'm kind of attracted to them. You should be able to tell your husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend that. Because if you are a mature intelligent adult you understand that there's billions of people in the world you're not going to be the only person that they're going to be attracted to you're not going to be the only you're not the only person in the fucking world if you are a mature intelligent adult you understand that they're going to see other people that they're attracted to and if you guys are best friends, you never have to hide things from one another. See, because if you have to hide things from your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife, if you have to go and tell, if you have to go talk to your best friend about it, then you're one step closer to cheating probably. Because you're already hiding it. See, That's an easier path to go down to start cheating. But let me tell you something, any female that's with me can always come and talk to me about whatever they feel, if they're attracted to another guy, whatever it is. And me, I'm not going to say, yeah, go ahead and fuck him. I'm not going to say that, but I'm going to ask why. I'm going to say, all right, no, I appreciate it, babe. I appreciate, I appreciate you telling me this, but like, why do you think this is happening? See, because when you're mature and intelligent, you can just have an intelligent conversation about it. I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to yell. I'm going to why the fuck you like that nigga? Oh, you want to fuck that nigga? Oh, uh. That's how weak men respond. Because weak men are emotional. See? But if you're mature, then all you got to do, if they tell you, hey, there's this like, this, like this guy or this girl at work and I don't know, like they started like maybe a couple months ago and they kind of been flirting with me and I mean, they're really attractive. I don't know, like, I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of attracted to them. What my response is going to be, is going to be, hmm. Well, how long, when did you first realize you're starting to be attracted to this person? And why do you think this is happening? Like, do you think this is happening because, like, I'm not around a lot? 
I work too much? Do you think this is happening because like the like the sex between you and I is not good anymore? Or was it never really that good and you didn't tell me? Am I am I not satisfying you? Do you think that our relationship has kind of like run its course and you want to break up? Like, is our relationship starting to get boring and like, you know, it's, it's just not what it used to be? And so, sometimes relationships run their course and maybe we need to break up. Maybe I gained weight. A lot of times when you get into relationships, you gain weight, right? And maybe I'm not as attractive anymore as I, anymore as I used to be. So I'll, I'll, th- those would be my questions to them. If a female would ever come to me and tell me that there's another guy that she sees at the gym or something like that, and she's kind of attracted to him and she doesn't understand why, I would go through those type of questions. How long have you been feeling like this? Why do you think, why do you think this happened? I'll, I'll ask her, I'll ask her, why do you think this has happened? And that way it allows her to go within herself and kind of analyze her feelings. But you should always be your boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or best friend. You should always be their best friend. Y'all should be able to talk about everything and anything. But to rewind and kind of wrap this up, you guys, if your husband or wife or especially guys, this is for guys, guys, if your wife has a best friend, though, and they gossip and they, she tells her best friend everything, be really careful because everybody knows your business in your whole circle, trust me. And she will never make decisions on her own because her best friends will always influence her decisions in her relationship. So it won't be like you're dating just her, you're just like you're dating her and all her best friends because their opinion is going to drive her in a certain direction. So just keep that in mind. All right. All right, you guys. Oh, look, Anton Pio to chill. I love you guys. You guys take care. Have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world. And you guys know when I say you guys, I mean, just like as a general term, when I say, hey, you guys, you guys take care. When I say that type of stuff, when I say guys, I mean like women and men. All right. You guys take care. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world. Check my video right there. Check my video right there. Take care. Love you guys. Peace. Bye-bye.